Hi guys, this is Jake here with the Atomic Armadillo Fabrication. Uh, I'm going to start doing tutorial videos um, on certain things that I end up doing in the shop and one of them today is we are shortening a 67 uh, C10 pickup frame. And so I know there's a lot of information online about it and, and uh, a lot of written things but I don't see many videos on it so I wanted to go over that here. So, uh, first and foremost, um, the frames themselves, compared to a short wheelbase frame, they are 20 inches longer. So the way that you shorten them is you take 12 inches out of the middle and 8 off the rear. That is behind the axle. So I'm going to show you, I've kind of got a rough layout. The frame's not super clean, but it'll kind of show you where you need to cut. Um, some people do it a different way. Some people do it under the cab. I find this way works for me because you don't have to move any of the mounts. Uh, if you look right around here, I have some scribe marks. There's a 12 inch section right here that's straight and that's where I'm going to cut out. One of the things that you have to do is you have to take the middle cross member that's right behind the back side of the cab and then you have to take this mount off of the bed like so. Um, where you'll end up cutting is right behind the hole that is meant for the bed mount and right through the middle of the first hole that is behind the cab mount. Uh, so you have a whole section of 12 inches. One thing that I like to do, which I'll do in a later video, is uh, show you how I brace it up just to make it a little extra strong since not everybody is uh, the best welders. It's something I don't necessarily recommend for an amateur, but uh, a lot of people do it anyway. So, um, if you can see, 12 inch section right here, right behind the cab mount. Uh, the first uh, mount for the bed, pretty simple stuff. And then I'm gonna have us walk to the back here and we're gonna look. So on the back side of the bed, we have an eight inch section that is from the rear. It's, uh, this is pretty simple. You literally just measure eight inches off the end. This one's a little dinged up, try to get pretty straight. Uh, put an eight inch scribe line or marker line, whatever works for you, and lop it straight off. And that's literally all you have to do for the rear. Pretty simple. Um, so in our next video, I am gonna go over the actual cutting process and then uh, the bracing process for the conversion and then I'll go over a little more information on what cross members we took out uh, and uh, kind of the plans forward from that point on but this will look this will work universally regardless of what you're doing if you're lowering the vehicle uh, or if you're keeping it just stock height uh, and just want to shorten it up so uh, if you guys like the video tune in uh, leave comments let me know and uh, we'll see you next time thanks